all aircraft. When the further field you come onto the scene a quarter miles away, can't wait if you sat in the tower, so you have to use your radar. And that's why we're using all these um, aids, where the core of the strip, the information on the strip, the radar screen, the call sign, what the you know, three digits underneath it indicating its height. We use all that information to uh aid us. Rescue us for high speed to get the height Yeah, high speed's fine. We're talking about this guy in here. So that was that had a four-digit code. We because it's inbound to itself, we just changed it on the computers to indicate a call sign, which is EV139 whiskey. And can anyone remember what what strip he would be on? What yeah. colour? Yellow. Yep, he's inbound, it's yellow. He's taken off, he's blue. And you know these like them red dots, what that mean? The red these dots. ones? No, a bit further up, them big dark red ones. Oh, these are like, these are like, um, danger. Where, where, like, the wind side? Not, not so much. Um, maybe, usually, this, they're called, um, Norton, which is a military airfield. Um, and they do have So they're lining up really fast, or descending really fast, and just, just be wary of that area. And you might only be able to go up, up, um, above a certain level because they've got maybe they do test flights for military aircraft basically. And do you know, like, right, there's different blue squares and then red squares. What are they? <coughs> like, like these triangles. No. Well, like you know, like the blue squares and then there's oh, that I red or blue yeah. shape. They're basically um, airspace. So, in for example, this airspace. No. Okay. Now you can see little figures in each box. That basically means that the base of airspace is is that figure. So it's three thousand five hundred. Um, I don't want to get too technical, but it, you have different rules in different airspaces. So if they're flying um, below that airspace, they can fly in different rules. If they're in that airspace, they, they fly within different rules. Um, I don't want to get too complicated, but that, that's basically what it means. Different airspaces need to have to fly with different, different rules. Uh, yeah, Do you communicate with the pilot um, about their speed as well? Yeah. Do you talk about the, what heading they're on? Yeah. What heading they're on, what, what altitude or level they are in the sky, and also what speed they're at. Which will help the pilot. Yeah. yeah. So, for example, this guy, he probably wasn't, he was pro probably quite fast, fast speeder. He was just... Come on, please, please, don't go five, please, 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 one, three, now, whiskey. So he's going to be number one, he's going to be number two. Can you see the trail dots behind it? Yeah. So he's going a lot faster, isn't he, than this guy? He's going nearly twice his speed. And that's probably because of the aircraft type as well. Because obviously some aircraft go a lot faster than others. So, so will that aircraft have to turn around to go into that yeah. runway? Yeah, so this, is, this little dash is, a, is the runway basically. And these lines are indications, just a guide for us. They don't exist in reality. So, for example, we're on runway 27 which means 270 degrees. That means that the, the angle that it's going to be flying at is 270 degrees is the one way. Do you, does anyone know when the aircraft take off and land into wind or downwind? No, it'll be downwind. Why, why do you think downwind? See, it helps the height of the ship. Why do you think into wind? Because it's like the wind. It's down. Yeah. Off the end of the runway. 